Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Not a long time ago I came across this old neon fixture lying on the street. They are quite in a bad shape but still usable to some extent. So I decided to take them home. And after I have a closer look at them, I seeing some of them they are quite badly rusted. But on the other side apart from some rust and some debris, they still can be repurposed. Like example some gorgeous audio active RGB LED can be made out of them. But still some things have to be done before. I start by grabbing one and after further inspection, I start the stripping process until just the frame is left. With the frame alone I move by cleaning it and also on some parts some old paint can be spotted that was easily removed with some thinner or white spirits. After washing my hands I was faced with a dilemma to reuse the old cap from the frame or to design another one. So I went on one to the design and design some new one then was to the printer to do his job. They are just for aesthetics and they turn out quite nice. They will be added at the end as the last pieces. Then I went and I marked the middle of it with a sharpie and then I grab a 3mm drill bit and proceed by drilling the hole. This is for the plug which will be used to power the LED. After the hole was drilled I grab a stepping drill bit and I mark it at 8mm and I went drilling. I went back and designed the rear support which are in two pieces. Designed it in such a way to offer some adjustment for the final light as a way to mount them on something. When the printer was done I went and installed them using some M3 screws. But due to them being a bit longer, I had to trim them down using a dremel. Then it was just a matter to bolt it down to the frame. The square hole is for this type of screw, more on that in a bit. After the rear support was added on the fixture, I start adding the two square screw, which after being added to the 3D model, I secured them using two washers and a screw. The purpose of this screw is just for having an easy way to attach it somewhere, like a wall, door and so on. Still a few designs and attempts have to be made till the final way of mounting it is achieved. With the two screws in the place I grab some white tape and I cover the two sides of the frame prior to make it sharp free. Because without the tape they are a bit dangerous to handle due to the sharp corners. With the white tape in its place, I move on and grab as well some aluminum tape. This is more to help distributing the light evenly onto the neon fixture. I have warned the hot glue pen and glue it one end cap. For the LED I have a look on my stash and designed it to go with this. These are generic 50-50 RGB LED and also they will be driven by this type of controller. This controller has quite an interesting function that it is it has a microphone. With it we turn the simple LED and some audio reactive LED so they can be shifted according to the music or sound being present. Like this. I designed to go with two rows of LED. The two rows of LED will be enough for this light but feel free to add more. But not too many because things will go a bit toasty. Now it's time to grab the controller and remove it from its case just leaving the PCB exposed along with two wires which have to be desoldered, before doing that take a picture just in case. After that I have add some connectors like this 2.54mm GST Dupont connectors like that will be easy serviceable in case something goes bad. And also the 2.1 plug has to be removed. These modifications are not necessarily but are welcome when servicing is needed. With the board ready I start designing another piece and after printing it it will serve as a simple purpose, as a way of having all the control easy manageable on one side. And also for a cleaner design when the unit is finished. With the part ready I grab a sharpie and I use the controller board as a reference. I have marked few holes. The holes will be simple for the microphone which I have to be extended by some twisted wire. And as well the second hole for the IR receiver. With the wiring done I glue the parts together. Here it is a small test. With the LED working I move on to the diffuser sheet. For that I will be using some acetate sheet which I got from old monitors and TV. And cut them with the help of a scissor and using some scotch tape to join them at the middle. Afterwards it was just a matter of inserting the freshly created diffuser and sealing everything up using hot glue. Mm -hmm. 
moving out to the two screws at the back of the light. They are simply as a anchor points after designing and printing two L brackets, I have a way of attaching it to something. But this is just a very simple way of doing it, as it looks and it has a lot of room for improvement. And as a last touch I'll be adding some velcro to be able to have a way to attach the remote to the light. The neon light works perfectly nice and I hope it has given you some inspiration of what you can do by using all stuff. Till then I hope you have learned something interesting today and I shall see you all in the next one. Till then have a nice day and thank you very much for watching. See ya!